if you look at the people who have, have died in Sweden, if you compare to Italy and Germany, in percent I think it's just the same about. I just feel sorry for uh, for those people who are have been in lockdown for for such a long time. If you want to be part of that, then uh, and be able to travel, you should be vaccinated. I was affected myself in a way from the last vaccine. I had a miscarriage because of it. Yeah, it was it was sad. It was early on, and it was really sad. But I will still take this vaccine because I think it's important. Welcome guys to my show here from Stockholm in Sweden. We are here to have a look how the special approach of Sweden is um, to Corona. You see we are on a shopping street, like almost nobody's wearing a mask. Maybe five to ten uh, percent of the people wear masks. They, um, yeah, so it's your self responsibility. Here very loose restrictions, so the shops are open of course. Um, they say okay, not too much people inside the shops. There are very loose regulations and um, yeah the restaurants and bars are open um, they are just open until 8 p.m. and they kick you out at 8 30 but um, yeah otherwise as I said it's much more freedom as in Germany and here we we are going to talk to the people what's their point of view on this policy uh, my name is Ingmar and I live in Stockholm okay what's your stance on the Swedish approach to Corona uh, I think we all have get used to the to the to the things we approach uh, Corona now because uh, we, it doesn't happen anything at all. I mean, all the shops is open and uh, and uh, I, for me it feels like it's always has been feeling. Okay. So it's no it's not a big change for me. Okay. Um, but now the government came up with a new law. Uh, people think, like that's what we heard from, swan, from, from, from some Swedes, they think maybe they come up with more restrictions um, that they're going to um, like close shops and bars. What's your opinion on this? you think it's going to continue with this or are they going to come up with new restrictions? Uh, I heard about the new restriction, but I, I don't think it's going to happen because... Uh, I think it's going to roll on like before, because uh, you look here, look here, it's the same. All of, all the shops is open, even if the new pandemic law is uh, it's changing some things for the restaurant and the, the bars because they can't serve alcohol after after 20. But uh, I think it's going to roll on like the same, okay. and uh, I think uh, it has been. All, always. I haven't seen much change because, uh, uh, okay. So, and what's your opinion on the other countries, for example, like in Germany, all the shops are closed, like since now, I think it's since the end of October, they're thinking about to uh, have even a harder lockdown to lock people in, like in, in, in Spain, how they did it in, in spring, like people were for months, they were just allowed to leave their home for an hour a day. What do you think about these countries with a hard lockdown? Uh, I think that every country does it their own way. I mean, a big lockdown can can be good, but uh, I think the the virus will always be there in in some kind. I think it, I think it's I think the vaccine will make the big change. But I think it's. Uh, Every country is different, and uh, if you look at the people who have, have died in Sweden, if you compare to Italy and Germany, in percent I think it's just the same about the other country, Norway and Finland and Denmark, this country that, that stands out a little bit. Would you get vaccinated? I have Corona in December, and I was hardly sick at all. So I have anti-crop now. So I, I will wait with the vaccine until uh, summer. Maybe if I take, I don't know yet. You, had, you said you had hardly any symptoms. What kinds of symptoms do you have when I may ask you? I just have some cold, no fever and no, nothing. And two days, two days, uh, just a cold. And you had a positive Corona PCR test? Yeah, yeah. So, um, do you follow the international media and when you follow them, what's your opinion on the 
uh, news about the Swedish approach? Uh, I think that the news in the beginning was uh, up and down and uh, some countries will celebrate Swedish way to handle things and uh, now when we see the result and other countries think we made a bad thing because of the flock human uh, immunity. But I, I don't know, I'm, I mean, I think the big problem is that, that we handle the nature and the animal and the food with such a careless matter. That's a big thing. And I think it's not the first pandemic. We have to take care of our Earth in a better way. Um, my name is David. David, what's your opinion on the special approach of Sweden when it comes to Corona? Um, I guess it uh, revolves quite around uh, having common sense. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. So you support this policy? Absolutely, absolutely. And now there's a new law. Um, do you think with this new law there will be changes soon, like maybe a harder lockdown or harder measures? Uh, probably. I think uh, it's the, the new law is, is pretty good that, that we're able to have that uh, here in Sweden and the, that the government has that kind of authority to do so. So, yeah. But do you think when they're going impl to implement harder measures like the Swede would say, OK, it's fine, we are happy with the government protecting us or would they revolt against it? Uh, I think they're going to be probably happy that, that the, the government takes care of them uh, because Yeah, before the law or before, uh, in, in during the spring, it was quite crazy uh, at some like shopping malls and, and stuff like that. So I think it's good. So, and what do you think about uh, the other countries like Germany, Spain, France, Italy, who have much stronger restrictions? And uh, like, for example, in Spain, then the people were locked in like the whole day. They were just allowed to go out for one hour a day. What do you think about this policy? I just feel sorry for uh, for those people who are have been in lockdown for for such a long time, and it must be a, such a hassle. What do you think about the vaccine? Uh, I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, I think that everyone should should get it as soon oh. as possible. Oh, okay. Your kids as well? Absolutely. Welcome here from Kiruna in the north of Sweden. We are in front of the Ice Hotel and um, yeah, let's conduct some interviews here. Actually, we got three interviews in Stockholm. Actually, one girl, she didn't want to be in the video because she said, okay, I paused too many times. I was thinking too much. I don't feel comfortable to be in your video. And actually in Stockholm, we tried to approach about like 50, 60 people and most of the people just walked by. It was very hard to find people uh, to talk in front of our camera. Um, so yeah, let's conduct some interviews here. Let's go. Hi, uh, my name is Sissy. I'm from France and I'm visiting Sweden for a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, we are together like for four or five days in Sweden. I like to just to a little forget about all coronavirus situations we have in France. So here we are. Isn't it dangerous for you here in Sweden? Like, what do you say about the special approach of Sweden to Corona? We know it's very specific and then they are being like criticized by other Amer uh, European countries for the approach. Uh, but we feel like we're in Lapland. There is nobody. The hotel is very safe. We have like a, what we need to protect ourselves. So, I mean, I don't feel in danger. What about you? Just, you know, like when you are just there and you see that in the hotel you don't need to wear the mask uh, on always. So it's this is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see, okay, so let's take a few days to forget about coronavirus, to enjoy some holidays uh, with all the restaurants and bars closed in France. You, we enjoy this a little uh, even higher. So it's really, really cool to be there. So we are not really uh, worrying about coronavirus. It's like you... You need to forget this a little and just you come back to France and then you go back to work and you uh, you remind about all these things about coronavirus. So it's like a, like a parent of this into, uh, into our lives, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So and when you're here in Sweden, when you see, okay, you don't have to wear a mask everywhere when you go grocery shopping, you see people don't wear masks or maybe from my experience, just maybe five or 10% of the people wear a mask and you see 
the numbers are not as bad as in other countries like Spain or France. Like, would you maybe have preferred the Swedish approach to Corona instead of the French way? I I mean, from my point of view, I cannot like uh, really give my like uh, if I was someone who had to decide on something, I really wouldn't be capable of doing any decision right now. I feel like everyone is doing the best that he can to uh, make the decision and find the this own way. But um, I mean, I don't feel in danger. I don't feel like uh, more more like in safe that uh, in France. But I, I am not able to judge whatever approach they, they are having. Yeah, clearly. I think that's a choice of each country. You will have some countries like which, uh, who have done lockdowns very quickly. Some other countries which ways are preferred to, uh, to, uh, to expect to more be uh, in an expect, expected place face to the virus. I w the same. I don't think we could judge one situation. One choice is better than the other. So the thing is that currently we see that uh, we can be here and we can do some really great stuff. Uh, so of course, so we are friends. We will will be we will be nice to you. We'll be grateful to enjoy some some time with some holidays. We cannot absolutely difficultly do in France. So I think that's that's not. We are not in. Such it's such a good place to to be able to judge the choices that have been made by our country. So, okay, would you get the vaccine against Corona? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I I guess that you know uh, French people are very against vaccination in general. Me, uh, like I got all my vaccination when I was a child, and I'm not against that. But now I'm not going to do it for like uh, a year at least because I'm I. I feel like we have to wait and I feel like uh, some laboratories in France, they are uh, making it longer, but they are uh, creating like a, um, a safer uh, solution. So I'd rather wait for that one rather than taking the first solution that c comes up and uh, take it. So I'd rather wait to see how it goes. What about you? I think currently it's more an emergency for like more old people for six, 65 years and um, and plus, so I think this is not a real emergency for us. We are, we are young and we know that some young people can be concerned too, of course, and even with kind of tough cases. But still, I think it's more an emergency for the people which, who, need, uh, who need the vaccine more than we do. So, uh, so, yes. What would you say if your government would say, OK, you need a vaccine to travel to Sweden or to Germany to cross the border? Would you get vaccinated? immediately like uh, the vaccination passport in France is the subject but I know the government like French government is against that so I think this is not going to be a subject uh, I would like wonder myself because uh, this trip really reminds me how good it is to travel and how like uh, how much you grow because it's really an experience so I really miss that for the last year uh so i would consider it seriously but uh i have like for now it's not compulsory so i'm not like wondering the question right now what about you i think that by doing this it can you can face the opposite impact so people would say okay why now is it mandatory to get vaccinated so it's like bizarre you know so I think this could have the negative impacts that could say people like, okay, so now you're forced to vaccinate. So even that, I think one over two persons who, who don't want to vaccinate in France, you can, you could reinforce the state, the state, you can, you could push people not to get vaccinated just to, because the state says so. And so I don't think that's a good idea to do so, but that's what people flow to, to me. That's my point. Victoria, what do you think about the Swedish approach to Corona? I don't know. I've never tried anything else. I think it's good for the children that they can still do sports. We can still uh, do certain things. Is it the best approach? I'm not sure. I don't think anyone knows at this point. But um, being a mother, I think uh, my kids have mostly been in school the entire time. And uh, I'm grateful for that. I have friends in other countries with children and they're going crazy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So now the new they came up with a new law. Do you think they're gonna come up with stricter regulations, stricter measures soon? Uh, I hope that they will at least be able to uh, 
uh, smooth the regulations out of it. I work in the entertainment industry myself and we've been completely shut down for almost a year now. And with the new law, as far as I understand it, we might be able to open up with safer regulations for us while they will be able to close down um, you know, stores or situations where you can't keep a safe distance, for example. So I'm hoping that it will even things out between different kinds of businesses a bit. So I'm happy about it. And uh, you just said you talk to friends from other countries. So what do you think about the approach of other countries like Spain or Italy, who, especially Spain, they locked the people in for months? Uh, I have friends there and they are literally going crazy. So I don't know. It's a very difficult situation for everybody. And um, I don't think anyone has the answers. So I can't really say anything about other countries' approaches to this. It's, it's a completely new situation for everybody. Um, but I'm happy that we haven't been in complete lockdown yet. Would you get vaccinated? Yes, I will. Why? Because I think it's important that we all try to get rid of this disease so that we can return to somewhat of a normal life. I think that vaccinations have saved humanity from a lot of different things. And I think it's my responsibility as a person of, you know, the human community to, to do it, you know. So, yeah, I will. In some uh, European countries, uh, I think um, Ursula von der Leyen, the head of the European Union, they think about a COVID traveler pass. So you need to uh, have the vaccination to be allowed to travel within the European Union. Would you support a mandatory vaccination like this? It's a difficult question. Um, I think, you know, if we're going to act as a whole, as a community, and I'm not speaking only about Sweden or Europe or just as a human race together, I think it's a fair thing. Mm. If you're vaccinated, if you want to be part of that, then... Uh, and be able to travel, you should be vaccinated. I mean, it's no difference if you want to go into certain other countries in Africa, for example, you have to have a vaccination against malaria or something else. So I don't think it's any different. As I heard in Sweden, you had bad experiences with the swine flu, that many people had side effects. And that's the reason why you have a special approach now to Corona. Like looking back with the experiences with the swine flu vaccination, mm. Do you think people in Sweden will be more critical when it comes to the vaccination? Not really. I mean, when you see um, different, what do you call it? Um, you know, when they ask a lot of people, I think about 80, 85 percent still think say they're going to take this vaccine so and the rest are not sure uh, i was affected myself in a way from the last vaccine i had a miscarriage because of it well, yeah it was it was sad it was early on and it was really sad but i will still take this vaccine because i think it's important like in germany and it's um, in some scientific journals they even say they don't know if this corona vaccine can if can has have an effect on your fertility Well, you know, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. I'm over the age of having kids. I already have two kids. So um, for me, that wouldn't be, you know, a non-negotiable part of it. But, you know, I can't say what everyone else needs to do or should do. Um, so I, I can just, you know, be responsible for myself and, and my decisions. What do you think about the policy um, in Sweden here, about the special approach to Corona? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a hard question. But I think it's uh, good because we keep our businesses running as, uh, pos as possible as it is in these uh, times. So we have um, me, for example, I've been working from home for 10 months now. And um, yeah, I think um, yeah, it's, it's um, different for all the countries. So, um, and what do you think about the other countries, like for example, like France or Spain or Italy, who had very hard lockdowns? Like when you mm -hmm. compare it to Sweden, like do you think they went the wrong way and Swedish Sweden? 
it the right way or what's your stance on this? I think it's very hard to compare depending on the situation in the, every country. Mm. But uh, of course, it's a, a hard lockdown. It's very hard for people to you know, be isolated and they don't, uh, can't go to their works and employ, uh, unemployment and uh, maybe people will, you know, commit suicides because they are depressed and staying at home for a long time so but I, I don't say that uh, another country has chosen a better or the worst way I think it's uh, up to all country and their governments to decide what is best depending on where in the curve of the corona epidemic and also if you compare for example Russia is a large country Bangladesh is a small country but uh, almost the same amount of people so of course you have to have different approaches depending on us. There are so many factors uh, in this uh, game, I guess. Okay. Um, so, and what do you say about the news coverage about Sweden? Like in Germany, it's always like, oh, the Swedish special approach will fail soon. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think it's, um, yeah, do you think, what do you think about this news? Yeah, I think, uh, Many countries have been very harsh on Sweden. Uh, if you rate them, uh, if you rate Sweden, I think now, uh, for the time being, we are like in the 29th place over when it comes to uh, contaminated people. Yeah, and uh, we were a bit unlucky that uh, we had the infection at uh, where the elders were living. I think that was not a success. Mm -hmm. uh, to say the least, uh, so we had a very high death rate in the beginning. Um, but uh, I mean, there are so many other countries that have more contaminated people and more deaths uh, compared to the population. So, yeah, I think it's a bit hard to say that you are doing this wrong and you are doing. I think, as I said before, every country needs to take their own decisions, and depending on how the country and uh, the people or um, yeah, the culture, you have to take that into account, I guess. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, thank you.